Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing magic and we are not dead yet because we are zombies instead. So we are playing a zombie tribal deck uh, with zero rares at all in the deck to try to keep a budget and also because there is a historic artisan uh, event happening with FNM right now. Uh, this may come out a little bit late for that for you guys. Uh, but at the same time though, it's always nice to have a new deck that is powerful, that is zero rares so that you can just craft it usually really really easily and be able to go to play the, the main issue with decks like these of course is the mana base uh going into two colors is usually pretty difficult with this one we're just splashing corpse knight wayward servant so even if you have just like a few of the dual lands you should be able to make this deck really really easily and i think it is powerful enough to still win games even in historic historic is a pretty aggressive format everything like that but this is an aggressive deck that's going for kind of that kind of thing as well as just a kind of combo -y deck with wayward servants and corpse knight so it's still powerful even if you don't have you know the the typical way to play this all right so the main idea of this deck is first off we do in in uh artisan which is uh uncommon and below so no rares no mythics at all playing in that format we still have quite a few zombie lords we have lord of the curse three mana two three other zombies you control get plus one plus one and you can pay two and tap it to all zombies gain menace until end of turn which is just a really good really aggressive type of lord for this if it was at a two mana, it would just be insanely busted, but as it is, it's really, really good. Lilana's Devotee, uh, not actually a zombie, so it kind of doesn't work with like Harold's Horn, which we have in the deck as well, but uh, it it is uh, three mana, two, three, other zombies get plus one, plus O, oh, and then at the beginning of your end step, if a creature die this turn, pay two and create a, black, uh, a two, two black zombie. So it creates zombies for us, it gives zombies uh, plus one, plus O, oh, it's, it's a zombie lord, we're gonna play it. I, I went down to three copies of it to try to add in more like Lazotep Reavers because Lazotep Reaver is really, really good with Corpse Knight and Wayward Servant, which is the other combo of our deck, which is whenever another zombie or whenever another creature enters the battlefield under control, opponent loses one life or and with his Wayward Servant, they lose one life and we gain one life. So Lazotep Reaver bringing in two zombies is pretty good for that, where if we have a couple of these out, that can just be four points of damage. The turn it comes out and then we hit a Lord on the next turn and all of a sudden we are swinging with a ton, a ton of damage and we're just trying to get in damage to the face as quick as possible and that's what we're up that's what we're trying to do uh two copies of great merchant ambassador Del. uh even if this enters and just deals like three to four points of damage we're not trying to go like crazy into um into mono black devotion uh but it's nice to have the ability to every once in a while just kind of like oh we have four creatures out in the battlefield bam you take four or you know plus the two from this so six damage to face for five and you're gaining the life back. It's, it's just a powerful effect regardless. Uh, I could see that argument going down to one copy. I'm going to try it out with two copies just because I, it's a fun card. I want to do it more often. Uh, Herald's Horn lets us uh, get, get stuff off the top. Uh, as far as removal goes, um, I realize that there's not going to be a lot of planeswalkers uh, in a historic artisan type of setting. Otherwise, you might want to bring in other things here, uh, like more blood cheese thirst, whatever. But I went one blood cheese thirst, one fatal push. We don't have a lot of ways to remove our own stuff except for the two evolving wild. So I didn't feel like I was going to be as consistent as just having heartless act, which should remove almost any creature unless they have counters. Uh, in which case, then we probably just try to out outpace them as much as we can uh, because Wenny Constrictor and uh, Conclave Mentor are both uncommon and so we'll see if people go play that way but playing three color is really difficult in this format right now so we're gonna go play some historic artisans so wish me luck and here we go all right I'm against Johnny Phoenix and we will definitely keep this hand it is a little bit annoying having a planes here uh, because we can't use any of our black spells like uh, Profane Insight, uh, Heartless Act. Any of our removal is in the other colors. Uh, but we will attack in. And the goal is always to get Wayward Servant out as quick as possible, basically. And then start getting in for lots of damage with it. If we can get in for like six points of damage with the Wayward Servant, that's so good. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and go ahead with uh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Down to 12, pass the turn. It might have been better to go for the leader, uh, the Reaver instead there. Not positive. Oh, this is the combo deck. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay, they're not going to be fast enough here. Yeah, opponents keeps it up. We just went a little bit too wide there. 
and all right zombies zombies can do some pretty sweet things that was uh, the infinite combo deck uh with um famished paladin which is super fun how is everyone's thanksgiving how is black friday for you are you not shopping like i never do <laughs> never shop on black friday and uh this is a sweet hand if we hit a land that'd be great getting up to the lord otherwise ooh, life gain is a very very strong uh, way to go with this as well. You ate kebabs for Thanksgiving. Brilliant. <laughs> Super nice. All right, Wayward Servant. Um, no attacks. Pass the turn. E. So our Heartless Act doesn't actually kill us very well. Uh, this is where I was debating on bringing in like eliminates in instead, uh, but now, yeah, not going to be quite as good. Uh, before we get out of the Lord, let's go ahead and just get out the corpse tonight, and then we have three Lords in a row. No attacks. The Vampire of the Dire Moon is really annoying here, but if we can give this like jump in and also give it menace, that could be really powerful. Griffin Airy. Uh, they've not gained three life yet. Blood you search. Rude. Do we want to go ahead and kill this just to get rid of it? They're going to... Oh, man, this is bad. Take it, I guess. But this means that it's two more points of damage on the next turn or in following turns. And they gain the life there anyway. All right, so let's go... Um, Lord of the Accursed. Swing for six. Down to 17. Doesn't seem like it's going to matter too much right now. This is a historic artisan. Uh, if we had the Wayward Servant here, I think we would have had a chance for at least one more turn. Um, playing Reaver and Lord of the Accursed. Like, we really had a very powerful start uh, up against... If we had been on the play even, I think we would have had a pretty good shot here. Uh, but as it is, we can't do enough damage. And they win with what they're stereolist. So that's okay. Moving on to the next one. Racquetball. One of those one of the sports that is really cool. <laughs> Alright, let's keep this. Diagraph goal, pass the turn. Mario Party Marathon. That's a great I think saving tradition. That sounds fun. <laughs> Um, all right, let's attack. Lightning strike, that's fine. Chandra Spitfire. Um, hmm. How bad is that going to get is the question. And any damage that doesn't go at face. So they're going to have a ton of burn. Um, I could wait for them to try to go for the burn. You know what? Let's, let's, let's go ahead and play out the Lord of the Accursed. Swing in for three. Double Herald Sworn is pretty interesting. Especially because... And this is one of the nice things about Herald Sworn is that uh, we don't have double black on anything other than Grey Merchant of Acerdell, And so our Herald Sworns can give our, all of our three drops down to one drops, which is nice. It's just so nice. Swings in, shocks her face, I'm guessing. Or holds back. Okay, okay. So they could have a shock to go to face and then have, have him block, which is still going to be bad. All right, so let's go unclaimed territory on zombie. I want a heartless act in Lazotep Reaver here, I think. I could uh, pay to give it um, menace as well. Here, let's, let's go ahead and swing it with Diagraph Ghoul. All right, blocks. All right, got a card out of hand. That is nice. Resolve. 
Lots of tip reaver. And pass the turn. Sweet. All right, three cards left. Herald's Horn, we have our card advantage cards in hand. Um, and hopefully we can just kind of maintain this. We just have to not do anything super stupid, which I have a tendency to do. So, you know. All right, opponent scoops it up. Very nice. Uh, yeah, we can keep this hand. There's a lot of good things about this one. All right, Scoured Barons. Bastion. I think the hardest part about Herald Sworn is just finding the right turn to play it. You really want to play it on a turn that you can play it out on tur as a turn three play and then uh, have... Um, and then be able to play something that's like two costs at the same time. So you can still uh, progress the board, especially in an aggro type of deck. So like the issue with Herald's Horn is that it's not an aggressive type of thing. Oh, is dude, Mono Blue Tempo is just like its entire deck is here in Artisan. Oh, this is going to suck. <laughs> that's bad. All right. No uh, Curious Obsession. That's nice, at least. Um, Lord of the Curse is interesting. Lazotep Reaver is also interesting. I can go Lazotep Reaver into Fatal Push. Hold it up for when they try to put Curious Obsession onto this. So let's go uh, Zombie. Let's go Reaver. This also means that if we do land a Lord, that we have more power on board to swing in with. And if they try to flash something in here, like a Brandborn Cutthroat, we can also Fado Push that. All right, down to 16. Pass the turn. Opt. Yeah, Deathbrain would be savage. Unfortunately, we don't, it's not in, in this format, but it would be fun. Uh, we're going to take the damage and try to field the push on the end step. I don't care about taking two points of damage right now. I'm basically just testing to see if there is an effect that's happening here. So Fatal Push, they have something held up. I may push the Herald's Horn instead this turn to see if that gets countered instead. Okay. All right, gain some life. Lord of the Curse is the right play, is the best thing to play here. Um, guaranteed it gets countered, right? So Herald's Horn. The card advantage here is really nice as well. So if it does get countered, okay. But if we can just keep hitting in for four, we have a four turn clock. All right, disruption. Swing in. Down to 12, pass the turn. Uh, just in case it's another disruption, we're going to throw out the Lord of the Curse first. And then try to get out the Tyregraph Ghoul. Okay, Trickster turns off the Servant. That's okay. If this resolves, that's fine. Oh, wait. Do they have Wizard's Retort now? Yeah, okay. Wizard's Retort. So now Tyregraph Ghoul doesn't enter and deal damage with this. Um, is it still worth getting out for now, though? Or do I want to wait till we have the Wayward Servant turned online? If we draw like a land off the top, it'd be terrible. If we find the Green Merchant of Asphodel, I'd rather have this out. So let's go ahead and play it out. More power on board, no attacks. Devotee. Devotee. 
Fairy Vandal. Lofted Denial. All right, all right. I see what you. I see what you got there. All right, swing with the Ghoul. I could offer the Wayward Servant here as well. That would trade off with the Trickster. They're gonna wait a turn for the Fairy Vandal. Um. No, this this gives us so much more longevity into our game, especially if they're not drawing cards here. Takes it down to eleven. Ah. Uh, Rude. Curious Obsession and Very Vandal are so good together. All right, drawing all the cards. We had some really good top decks. They just had the right answers. Swing with the Ghoul. Fast turn. I hate to say it, this isn't looking too great anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, just one good draw and they don't get a counter. Siren Storm Tamer, okay, holding up two cards. They've not played a land this turn, and they may and they probably would be holding on to a land. Uh, I'm guessing the white is only for a staggering insight. Or what's it called? Um, swing with the goal. They might go ahead and trade off now. Yep. I think that's the right play. Yeah, I think that we're a little bit too far behind on this one. The last step Reaver couldn't go in because of the 2-2. Two -two. It would have been an easy trade-off for them there. Uh, we could have gotten for like maybe one more point of damage, but it wouldn't affect our ability to win necessarily. All right, if this resolves, we keep playing. If not, we're we're not going to be quick enough. Oh, Science Room Tamer anyway. Yeah, okay. Right, 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 right. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one. Um, Mono Blue Tempo is such a good deck. That's going to be a hard match regardless. Uh, great hand with a lot of tapped lands. Um, I guess we still keep. On the play, this is okay, I guess. Pillar of Flame, okay. Corpse Knight, pass the turn. Another Pillar of Flame, cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's go Silver Smoke Ghoul. And Foulmire Knight. I probably want to hold off and wait to draw with this, right? That's our only source of card advantage. But if we get two lords out, um, that could also be really nice here. Uh, let's go ahead and play it out. All right, lightning strike. Yeah, this way we at least have a threat on board doing something. Alchemist. All right, well, at least they can't block, right? Ooh. Um, I want to go for the Lords over the Heartless Act. Please, no more lightning strikes. Yeah, all right. That's cool. Down to 19. That's a lot of lands that they've hit so far. Hopefully no card draw. I'm trying to think what red has for card draw in uh, Artisan. Skew the critics. Dude, all damage going at creatures is actually not the worst for us.
Uh, I'm going to force the issue first, actually. So we're going to go ahead and uh, destroy the alchemist. Uh, so if they want to throw spells around, they throw it now, and then we can hopefully keep the Lord of the Accursed around. Okay. Only down to 17, we get a Lord. And, um, yeah, I gained some life. We're top decking. What you got? Wizard's Lightning. All right. Who tops that who top decks best? I thought that was a rare. Is that only uncommon? Oh, crap. Uh, I'm going to wait to see if they throw this at face. All right, perfect. I mean, they have to, right? Yeah, so Pinnacle Firebrand. Wayward Servant is the card that can Ooh, they can win it for us here. All right, Wayward Servant. Wayward Servant. And now we got the Drain. Drain beats Burn. And yeah, that's cool. All right, back up to 13. Pillar Flame, okay. That's fine, that's fine. It's all good, it's all good. That's not a zombie. Swing in. Down to 16. Pass the turn. Down to 12. Lazatep Reaver. Sweet. There we go. The tables have turned. Maybe. Wizard's Lightning. Gotta kill the Wayward Servant. And the do. Alright, Fanatical Firebrand should kill the 1-1 one, one here. They don't. Sweet. Bonus scoops it up. Whew, alright. Zombies... I, it's kind of fun playing Artisan, because it's kind of like, alright, uh... There's so many different game plans, and it's all about kind of like who assembles it first with through all the removal because removal is really effective in the format. It's just it's fun. All right, up against Mernshaw, keep this Soul Warden. Um, no, I'm actually just gonna kill that. Dent of Vanguard. Can't kill that quite as easily. Uh, but we can make it kind of hard to deal with. So, Lazap Reaver. Two pretty easy blockers for the Vanguard. Militia Bugler. Is this Soldier Tribal? Yes! Alright, let's see here. Um, on Zombie. We have heart two Heartless Axe on the next turn. It doesn't kill a Johnny Prade Mate if they uh, get a creature out, or if they get a counter onto it, though. So... I guess I need to hold up Heartless Act just to make sure that doesn't happen. Otherwise, Corpse Knight Diagraph Goal is pretty tempting here. Let's let's use the Heartless Act. We can still play the Corpse Knight and Heartless Act on the next turn. Fast turn. This has Vigilance as well. Militia Bugler is also a pretty big threat to us unless we get some Lords out. Uh, swings in. We'll take it this turn. The Adanta Vanguard is really annoying here. Daxos. I don't think it gains life when it dies itself. Yeah, okay.
Okay, play out the corpse tonight. Still haven't found a lord. Pass the turn. All right, plays out pride mate. Let's see if they swing in with the life's bounty. I think that's the best thing that we can hope for here is that they swing in trying to gain life. Um, all right, we could double block onto the militia bugler. We could wait to find a lord and just take our damage, um, killing the Johnny's pride mate, but they have protection held up right now anyway. They can give it protection from black uh, with all seed life's bounty. And they get a free kill. Okay, let's block here. They can either sack the all of life bounty or they can pay for life. Paying for life, Lost Hope Reaver is never going to get in for four points of damage. So it did its job. Yeah, can't kill now. All right, we have to draw better than that. That is that is something that has to happen. All right, go for the block on a judge's pride mate. See if they sack the all seed device bounty. Um, do we go ahead and just try to get two cards out of this right now? They have protection from the shelter. We're just trying to see if we can get something off the top that would be worthwhile at all here. All right, so they sack all seed life bounty. That's fine. So they still have advantage, but it's not as much advantage. And another all seed. Nice. There's the Lord we were wanting. If we had found this like three turns earlier, we had would have been a very much better place here. Uh, now, I think we're too slow. Maybe another Lazotep Reaver gives us a shot here. Chef at Dunes gives power to everything. They think they have just enough. Okay, yeah, that's that's done. Game over. Let's go to the next one. Up against Tukais. Tukais. And keep this hand. I like it a lot. Diagraph cool. Pass the turn. Ooh, afterlife tribal. That could also be interesting. Okay, zombie. Corpse knight. Um, no attacks. We can Blood Chief's Thirst this. It could also be Death Touch Tribal. Uh, the Hooded Bite thing, I can't remember if that's... Where that's at with that. Um, all right, well, we have ways to get around Death Touch, so that's at least something nice here. Pass the turn. Discard some cards. Let's discard. This only works with zombies entering, so I could discard here. I could also go ahead and start trading off and paying for stuff to just start create some more uh, ETB effects. Um, so let's go. I think we're going to have to be playing pretty heavy into the Wayward Servant and hopefully finding something else. So let's drop uh, Diagraph Goal and Blood Chief's Thirst. Hold up Card Draw and Devotee. Yeah, because we still have Death Touch. If we find a land here, it's the best play. Even just playing it out without drawing the card. All right, Devo T. Uh, 
No attacks. Nice. Nice. That's really good. All right. Uh, no land, so we don't use the gold, Thargraph gold just yet. Okay, Orzhov Enforcer. Takes it. Play out the swamp, pass the turn. There's Swarm Eminence. Creates another 1-1. One, one. All right, no blocks, take it. The lifelink here is the issue. All right, swing you there, and maybe with the corpse net as well. Nah, we have to swing with just this. All right, Diagraph Gold dies. We get to pay. Make a zombie, get some triggers, pass the turn. We will trade off with the Dire Moon here. People call me a death dealer, but I rarely offer discounts. With everything, interesting. Actually, wait. How much damage can we do? They don't have blockers. So they're doing, uh, so they're going to go up to 16. We can deal. Twelve. Hmm. If we find a zombie off the top, we have lethal. So no blocks. Down to eight. Counters go on everything. That's good. Okay, that's fine. Discard is okay. All right. Zombie off the top. That's a good zombie. Uh, I think I miscalculated how much life they gain, though. Because now we can do... How much damage? So they block one of the three threes. Uh, we get in for nine, ten, eleven. Um, as long as devotee doesn't die, though. We gain... We have to force lethal. Oh, wait, wait, no, I, I'm counting wrong. Sorry. We have uh, 12. So they have to kill something. Okay, yeah. Uh, this means that they, if they block the devotee, we still get in for, oh, it's just 12. That's right. Okay, I messed up. And that's game. Josen. And lots of removal is nice. Um, a bunch of three drops is okay, I guess. We'll keep it. This is definitely not a bad hand, right? There's a lot of creature decks out there right now. Play Swamp, pass the turn.
and ginger brew. Um, yeah, sure, why not? I was thinking we're going to be holding up Heartless Act this turn now. Uh, with that, it's a little bit worse playing the Fiddle Pish right away, but it's all good. Now we want Corpse Knight out first. It can die to Shock pretty easily, though, or Pillar of Flame or something. Um... Let's go Corpse Knight still. Fast turn. Gets shocked. Doesn't get shocked. All right, and then. They were holding up something there. All right, land off the top would be great here. Yep, no blocks. Down to 19. All right, Laza Tip Reaver. All right, we get some damages in. Okay, we'll go Blood Chief's Thirst onto Goblin. Heartless Act is annoying if they do end up putting like counters onto stuff. Uh, this is probably just Gruel Aggro with things like Voltaic Brawler, like all the different things that are that have come in recently. Um, Artisan Gruel Aggro, I think, is still pretty powerful. Bonus hoops it up, sweet. All right, up against Buffy. Keep this. Um, yeah, Guildgate passed the turn. Corpse Knight passed the turn. Skyclave pickaxe, interesting. On to uh, one of these guys. No blocks, down to 17. Um, how do I want to play this now? I guess playing out the Falmar Knight is pretty nice here. Although the, then they might have more blockers up. Uh, so let's go Falmar Knight. Azotep Reaver. I'll see your three points of damage with our five and a much bigger board. Pass the turn. Uh, let's go ahead and I'd like the Heartless Act afterwards, but let's go ahead and get in some damage. Hmm. Would they actually be willing to trade off? You know, actually, let's go Devotee, swing with these two. Swing, swing. I mean, they can technically get in for a really big hit on the next turn. Um, and so, sure, they can get for a big hit, but then we're most likely just going to win. Especially if they do try to swing here. Uh, evolving Wilds would be bad. Okay, there's an Evolving Wilds. <laughs> that, that's bad. Uh, Rolling Regrowth is also in this format. Uh, luckily, they're not that far yet. 11 points of damage. Uh, how much do we have? With the goal, we have one. I think we have lethal. Six. Yeah, so that's 10 with lethal. Here. Here. 
Shablamo. And we had the Heartless Act to hold up. Good game. All right, up against Umble. And keep this. I don't think that we've mulliganed yet, by the way. I, I think this deck has been just like pretty consistent at just being good. Scorch Spitter. Uh, Wayward Servant. They likely have lots of burn. It's still better to get it out. Nocturne. Nest Robber. Okay. No blocks. Down to 19. Ooh, another Wayward Servant. I was going to hold up Heartless Act, but now we do that instead. That's a pretty good turn. All righty then. Two Heartless Acts on the next turn as well. Should be able to swing in for six. I doubt they're going to hold up enough blockers for us to just not get in. Paddlemancer. People do underestimate the power of just like nest robber or things like that. Ooh, Wizard's Lightning. Rude. All right, 16. All right. Heartless Act. Down to 11, pass the turn. Round up runes. We'll wait to see what they play for blockers. Take our four. We're still racing and winning the race. Light up the stage, okay. Nest robber. Okay, give me a zombie. That's a good zombie. Don't have a shock. Okay. Gain some life. Grow the dorks. Swing for six. We like that. All of those things are great. Uh, pass the turn. Now we can give them menace on the next turn, so they're gonna have to be worrying about their life total in general. Um, so they either they have to kill the Lord of the Cursed and not attack. All right. So now they have a shock. All right. Shrinks for one. All right. Do we find removal? No, but that's okay. That is lethal. <laughs> the best top deck of all time. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I had fun in the match. I love how I'd always ask that after playing Mono Red. Did you actually have fun with that, Yoge? No PTSD afterwards? No, we're good? All right, sweet.